technology behind chat gpt open ai released chat gpt in 2022 since then it has gained considerable interest and attention chat gpt is an ai chatbot that allows you to have human like conversations with it it can generate text in response to a prompt so if i prompt it with tell me a short story about aliens it goes on to generate a pretty good story about aliens that is also grammatically correct but what is the technology that powers it chat gpt uses gpt a type of large language model that uses neural network architecture called transformers now there are many technical terms here we will go over them one by one to understand how chat gpt works let's start with neural network here is a diagrammatic representation of a neural network every node here is a neuron a neuron is a mathematical function that calculates an output given an input and it is the connections between neurons that create a powerful neural network every neuron is connected to a few of its peers the strength of each connection is based on a numerical weight that determines the degree to which the output of a neuron will be taken into account as an input to the next neuron now a neural network could be very small with a few neurons and connections between them however in the case of large language models the neural network will be very large with millions of neurons and billions of connections between them with each connection having a weight neural networks group neurons into layers and when there are many layers the network is called deep therefore the phrase deep learning the architecture of a neural network is essentially how neurons are connected to one another therefore a neural network is a machine learning model made up of small mathematical functions called neurons just like neurons in a human brain they are the lowest level of computation in the network next let us look at large language model or llm in the ai landscape large language models are at the cross section of natural language processing that is nlp and deep learning therefore understanding what are large language models is important to understand how chat gpt works so what can llms do they can generate text in natural or human languages like english spanish french etc a large language model is a type of neural network which is very large with millions of neurons and billions of connections between them with each connection having a weight here are some types of neural networks convolutional neural networks or cnn recurrent neural networks or rnns and transformer neural networks cnns are structured like a grid where a neuron may be only connected to some other neurons that are near it in a grid cnns are well suited for image recognition on the other hand recurrent neural networks or rnns allow output from some nodes to affect subsequent input to the same nodes however our focus is transformer neural networks here since chat gpt is powered by such a neural network so let's discuss transformers next a transformer architecture is based on the idea of attention whereby some neurons are more strongly connected to other neurons in a sequence researchers at google developed this architecture in 2017 let's look at the sentence the fox kicked the ball and ran after it what does it at the end of the sentence refer to does it refer to the fox or to the ball we as humans know it refers to the ball but it is important for a large language model too to understand it the word it here is related to the word ball so here the architecture is able to work with a sequence of words and use different strengths of connections between different parts of the sequence Here are some examples of transformer implementations Google's Bird OpenAI's GPT or generative pre-trained transformer and DAL-E which is used to generate images from a short description 
Our focus here is GPT, which is used by Chat GPT. GPT has undergone several iterations, including GPT-2, GPT-3, GPT-3.5, and so on. So let's discuss GPT next. GPT or Generative Pre-trained Transformers are a family of large language models. GPT models are artificial neural networks that are based on the transformer architecture, pre-trained on large datasets of text and able to generate human-like text. So what can it do? It can answer questions, summarize text, translate text to other languages, generate stories, conversations and so on. A GPT model is after all a machine learning model and it is generated by a machine learning algorithm that processes lots of training data. Programmers simply define the architecture of the model and rules for building it. They do not create the neurons or the weights between them. That happens during the training process. For GPT, the training data is lots of text, terabytes of text from internet. This is unsupervised learning. Later, it undergoes supervised training to fine-tune it. So, what is the result of training process here? It is a neural network with billions of connections between millions of neurons defined by the model. Training such a large language model is an expensive process in terms of time and computing resources. Initially, such models may produce moderately accurate outputs. However, by feedback and with enough training, they become more and more accurate and can produce human intelligible text that is as good as text written by a human. It is important to understand that large language models do not have a database where it stores its training data, which could be searched for generating text. All it has is weights and neurons representing mathematical functions. So when you prompt chat GPT with tell me about North America, this prompt is broken into tokens and it results in millions or billions of calculations depending on number of weights and generates an output starting with a token that has the highest probability of being meaningful and then next token and so on. Therefore, large language models are not trying to recall facts. Their strength is generating human readable text on the fly. There is no guarantee that the output will always be right, but it will usually be, depending on how well it has been trained. So chat GPT is based on OpenAI's GPT model. GPT 3.5 has 96 layers of neural network, making it one of the largest deep learning models ever created. GPT 3.5 was trained on a large chunk of internet data and the model was trained on hundreds of billions of words. And this is how chat GPT is able to generate a response which is indistinguishable from a human response. So to summarize, chat GPT is built using GPT and GPT is a type of large language model that uses a neural network architecture called transformers.